What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Barcelona career mode. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in today's episode we have two matches against Real Madrid funnily enough. We have the Spanish Cup final and then we have a La Liga match. So two big matches we really do need to win today. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we can win the treble by, if we win the Spanish Cup today, we can win the Champions League, we could win the uh, the Liga. That would be absolutely fantastic. But before we get into the Spanish Cup final at the Santiago Bernabeu, let's quickly recap the last episode. Fortunately, in the Champions League in the quarterfinals in the first match, we ended up winning 1-0 just in the 90th minute from Daniel Sturridge coming fresh off the bench. Managed to make it 1-0 and picked up the man of the match. Later on in that episode, we ended up going to the Camp Nou. We ended up drawing 1-1 against PSG. Edison Cavani started off the scoring just before half-time. And then we ended up winning 1-0 with Neymar running down the wing in the 90th minute. So two 90th minute, two 90th minute goals and we were really quite lucky to get into the semis of the Champions League. So we're 1-0 down here against Real Madrid. Uh, from none other their loan signing Javier Hernandez, but if anyone was going to bring us back in it It was going to be our main man Ronaldinho just before the 11th minute Neymar gets in the through ball and Ronaldinho my god son He is still got it in him the 34 year old Brazilian man. My god Ronaldinho you absolute Legend he's bagged so many goals in this series. I just love playing with Ronaldinho. He's just he's just fantastic on the ball my god, guys, leave a like for Ronaldinho celebrating there with Messi. But Real Madrid went down and out for the count. Isco is trying to find a player, but he manages to go all the way. He finds, or oh, he goes Chicharito and Chicharito. My god, Javier Hernandez, the loaned United man, managed to make it 2 1. It was so, there were three goals within 14 minutes. Crazy, crazy, crazy um, hypes happening in this uh, Spanish Cup final. But disappointing, uh, to say the least. Ronaldinho get us, got us back in it, and I'm, I'm sure he can get us straight out of it there. So Isco, like I said, managed to find Javier, and uh, I don't know. I don't even know how that was even a goal. Like, hit him on the fucking thigh. Extremely unluck unlucky from Stegen, but uh, hey, what do you want to do? Neymar on the ball who put us through to the semi-finals of Champions League, whips it in and finds the head of little Messi. Unfortunately, he couldn't get his shot off there. But speaking of little Messi, he gets a pretty good free kickoff here. And I have no idea how we scored this. Messi, with a crazy free kick, manages to hit. Casillas must have winded him or something. He spills it. It falls short to Modric. And it felt like Modric, the Croatian, was playing for Barca. He managed to stick it in the neck. Stick it in the net. So that bullshit goal that Javier Hernandez scored off his thigh. We managed to get one of our own bullshit goals. But my god, Oscar scores one of my favorite goals of the season. He absolutely buries this one, hits the top of the crossbar, and puts it without a doubt past Casillas to make it 3-2. So we're back in it. We're 2-1 down and out, and now we're 3-2 up. My god, this is a, a goal bonanza in the semifinals, or the sorry, the finals of the Spanish Cup. Messi manages to find Oscar, and Oscar shoots another rocket at Casillas and claims his second for the match. What a goal from Oscar. I don't know where he came from. He just became a goal scoring. He was just so immaculate. Absolutely bury this man. No Real Madrid man was trying to mark him, but just look at that. Absolutely kills it. And it was a fantastic goal there from Oscar to make it 4-1. I'm just happy. I really am happy that we're doing well against uh, Real Madrid here. But Gundogan on the ball. Manages to find Ronaldinho who hits it and makes it 5-2. So after those two goals from Oscar, Real Madrid were struck with disarray. They couldn't believe what was happening. And Gundogan here manages, well, we ended up managing to find Ronaldinho. And he bagged his second for the match. What a goal there from Ronaldinho. And Casillas, man. He was the main culprit in this uh, this match, most definitely. The, the defense was actually holding out strong. It let Oscar sneak into some different situations, but Casillas really should be saving those type of goals. And Ronaldinho there, the Brazilian wonder. But Ronaldo on the ball here, determined to get a, an equal, well, no more than an equalizer that Gareth Bale manages to get us. Gareth Bale absolutely fires it 
at Stegen. Stegen manages to get a hand, a left hand, or right hand, his left, my right, manages to get, like, just a hand to it, and uh, it, it just wasn't enough. It, was, it would be pretty hard to stop a shot that close there from Gareth Bow without breaking your elbow or something. I'm surprised he didn't. Absolutely rocketed that to make it 5-3. So, Real Madrid did show up. They did score three goals, and but we managed to, to bag five playing players like Pepe who are kind of old and, and slow at the moment because CS wasn't on his best form in this match. We end up winning the Spanish Cup, a well-deserved one. So, guys, make sure to leave a like for winning the Spanish Cup. And speaking of likes, thank you very much if you've ever liked one of my Barcelona career modes. No, if you've liked any one of my FIFA 15 career modes or FIFA career modes in general, you guys are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without your support. Absolutely fantastic. And I really hope you enjoy the victory here today because I am so, so happy. And now we can turn our main objective for trying to win the Champions League and uh, and the league. But guys, let me know in the comments who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer of the La Liga. Will it be Messi? Messi is currently topping it. Will it be Suarez? Suarez obviously did miss out on the majority of the first half of the season. Sturridge, he's been up there here and there, but Ronaldinho has bagged a fair few, even though we did sign him in, in January. So my bet it's probably going to be Messi. I don't know. Um... But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know would you like to see Season 2 of the Barcelona career mode. It's probably going to make more sense when I... Uh, well, depending on if we win the league or we win the Champions League, uh, if you guys want to see a Season 2. But I'm so happy there looking at the squad celebrating there. It's good to see the Barcelona boys. Koke there, even though he hasn't been given a run that much this season so far, he's been, uh, he's been a good support. But uh, Ronaldinho there coming back at his first season back at uh, Barcelona. Picks up the Spanish Cup. So I reckon it was most worth it. 20, 20, do we play 20 million or 30 million? I think we played 20 million. 20 million was a little bit excessive. But hey, we already brought in heaps of squad depth. And I really just wanted to have fun with Ronaldinho. But guys, this is not the final match in today's episode. We have another match against Real Madrid. But this match is at the Santiago, or is at the Santiago Bernabeu, and uh, I'm hoping. Actually, no. Oh, okay. My apologies, guys. I thought this Real Madrid match was in the La Liga. It's actually in the Champions League. I, I totally forgot. My God. Like I did say, has been a while uh, since I did record this, and I've completely forgotten the result, which is always a good surprise when you're doing a, a pre-commentary. But uh, yeah, we're both seeing. Real Madrid at the Camp Nou in the Champions League in the semis. Absolutely crazy. I'm hoping we can pull out the same result as we did at, in the uh, Spanish League here. But Atletico Madrid are in the other semi, which is uh, a quite interesting there. Rakitic manages to uh, get his corner kick off. It finds a Barcelona player, but the header uh, just goes wide. Gareth Bale here, who scored a goal in a very uh, a similar situation, manages to fire it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, with, he heads it back, it looks like, to Stegen, but uh, it was saved quite comfortably. Neymar, oh, sorry, Messi, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, manages to make it 1-0 against Real Madrid in the Champions League just before the 35th minute. And Casillas lets in uh, another goal. Nice ball there from Ronaldinho. Managed to set through the little Argentine. And he, without a doubt, absolutely thumps it into the bottom left-hand corner. My God. But uh, Real Madrid weren't down and out for the count. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. They weren't out. They were really determined to get back in this match. Cavalier manages to find Gareth Bale on the head. But Messi was determined as well to get one. He manages to find Ronaldinho, who gets the Ronaldo chop. Fires it at Casillas. And it falls short, the parry to Iniesta. He gets his shot off, but it didn't come to anything more than a corner. And we didn't produce anything from that corner. Neymar there gets his shot off at Casillas, scoring five goals against Casillas in the last match. The Barcelona boys were more eager and ambitious to shoot from outside the net here. But speaking of being ambitious, Ronaldinho here climbs to the occasion. I have no... Look how much of his body he commits into that. He manages to face plant... Absolutely wrecks himself over Marcelo. 
but what a header there. Full commitment, and I'm um, surprised he nearly didn't get a concussion <laughs> after how hard he hit his head there. But 2 new up against Real Madrid, and Ronaldinho scores his first goal in the Champions League. My God, Oscar, who scored two in the last match, managed to find Ronaldinho, and Ronaldinho, my God, cool, calm, and collective to be one-on-one -on -one with Casillas and makes it 2-0 to score his second goal in the Champions League just before the 63rd minute. Just look how cool, calm, and collective he was. He was waiting for that player. He managed to get in the slide tackle, and he manages to coolly put it into the back of the net, waiting for Casillas to run out. I do believe that was Kadira um, who was man was marking him. It was, it was actually Derek. My bad, but Kadira was pretty close in the end. Sergio Aguero manages to score no more than a late equaliser, a late e oh sorry, a late consolation goal um, at this point, just before the 70th minute. A lapse in concentration at the Barcelona back after Ronaldinho scoring two goals in the Champions League, and uh, they let the other little Argentine get through, and, and it was unlucky for Stegen. He's been pretty solid this season, uh, without a doubt. Now, speaking of Aguero, he manages to find Cohen Thrall, who gets his shot off. He gets a little bit fumbled on his footwork, but um, he, it still managed to go for, for a corner somehow. Sergio Aguero comes off, and they manage to bring on the big Finnish lad, the Scandinavian giant. But we had to see how he goes. But Real Madrid managed to bring another one back here. So two goals back in quite quick succession. The other one was just before the 70th minute. This is the just before the 80th. So within roughly 10 minutes, Real Madrid have scored two goals. So they look like they might be coming back here. They're looking more determined uh, than in the last match when we scored a fair few goals. But Messi managed to get his shot off at Casillas. It falls short to Isco. He whips it wide. Sammy Kadira here manages to find Ronaldo. And as I was hyping up the Finnish lad, he managed to score his debut goal here. And uh, I really should have played with him more in my Real Madrid career mode. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately there, it gets 3-3. And it looks like we're going to be drawing this first leg in the Champions League. Real Madrid brought back three goals. What are you going to do? But Daniel Sturridge on the ball here. Gets his shot off. Hits the post. But we end up drawing 3-3 against Real Madrid. So we end up winning 5-3 over Real Madrid. And then we end up drawing 3-3. So two big matches. A lot of goals in this episode. So thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel. And above all, remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks a bunch, guys. Simsy out.